Hi, I'm Dr. Beruz Akbarnia from San Diego, California, and past president of Scoliosis Research Society. And I'm here today to talk about spondylolysis. Well, if you look at the spine, you know, we have uh, this spine that uh, includes a separate vertebra that all together make the spine. And if you look at the spine, the, each vertebra joins with the lower and upper vertebra with a joint. And these are the joints called facets. And these facet joints are connected with a bone here that we call pars, pars interarticularis. So this is a pars that if it is uh, broken or cracked, it's called spondylolysis. And this may have uh, three stages. If there are stress in this uh, part of the spine, uh, you can have uh, increased you know, bone density, but not really cracked. Uh, it uh, may be cracked and the spine stays stay, stay the same place, or it's totally displaced. It's called spondylolisthesis. Yes, there, there are some activities that may make someone prone to spondylolysis. Some of the sports like gymnastics, uh, uh, heavy uh, weightlifting, uh, football, uh, those are the things that could uh, uh, aggravate or cause spondylolysis. Well, the symptoms most of the time uh, is back pain. Uh, there are occasional uh, irritation of the nerves that may cause leg pain, but mostly uh, the back pain. With the diagnosis of spondylolysis, sometimes may be tricky because the regular x-rays may not show it. So uh, if there's just stress and there's no crack, to, uh, total crack or is partial crack, you may not see it in the x-ray. So you may require some additional uh, imaging studies like uh, bone scan, sometimes CT scan, to show the crack. But if it is displaced, then it's easy to do it, to see it in the x-ray. The treatment for spondylolysis uh, is basically uh, most of the time non-operative and, and uh, what we call conservative. And that uh, includes uh, anti-inflammatory medications, uh, exercise, and sometimes bracing to keep it immobilized and make it better. So uh, any of those conditions uh, uh, with brace, for instance, uh, may even be able to do some activities. Uh, but if all of that doesn't work, then you may require uh, some surgery. Yes, there are uh, uh, generally two types of surgery. One is uh, repairing of the defect. If you, you know, talk, looking at this, if the defect is here, there is a possibility of going and just repair that uh, bone, taking some of the scar tissue out and put some bone graft and really do not fuse the vertebra to the one above and below. And that allows uh, mobility to, uh, uh, to preserve. If that doesn't work, and in certain situations where the discs are not very good, then you have to fuse the spine, put the bone graft, and fuse that level to the level above or below. Uh, initially, no, but sometimes the modified activities work uh, with or without brace based on the uh, type of symptoms they have. And we try to advise them to uh, do the strengthening exercise, especially with the core muscles, uh, and avoid uh, activities that causes hyperextension uh, and, uh, 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 until they are asymptomatic and they can gradually then go back to, to the activities.